Hello everyone and welcome back to the last remnant remastered It's time to hit the ancient ruins. Here's my final party setup Lu The first union Ludo, Zulin Blockter and Wingale This team is good because they Ludo pick and use galaxy and he will eventually learn Animal kill as well at the same time so that's why I got him. So let's disable all these so he focuses on learning catch Hexia for now. Then we can train his other abilities later. So he focuses on these three so he learns catch Hexia. Blockter is in the team to cancel out negative status effects. And Windgale is here when the negative status effect gets cancelled out. He will use refresh. Or so is the plan. Refresh the other team members who got status effects. Duke of Gore's party is a physical powerhouse with some healing arts, item arts. Hannah's group is also a physical slash healing group with item and mystic, with item and remedies. They can also use a snow petal, twin snow petal. For raid wide damage. Irina's group. Irina is good with Omni Strike when she gets it. And she's a good reviver slash healer. And when the Omni Strike triggers, she really does good damage. And will also eventually learn Dual Snow Petal with Kirina in the group. Russia's group is focused on getting Animal Kill and Rejuvenating Water. Rejuvenating Water is the Arcana that restores all HP and AP. The way to learn it is if three strong remedies followed by each other, like three revitalizes followed by each other, and Emmy and Paris will help him with the revitalize. Also, Emmy and Univer will have hexes to get him animal kill. If he has trouble learning Animal Kill later, we can just move someone with Hexes temporarily until he learns it, then we can swap back to this party setup. All the formations are Mystic Henge. Mystic Henge is really important because when enemies use Mystic Arts against you, it's really deadly and you want to have Mystic Defense on all your party members, so... For now, for now, it's Mystic Henge all over. So that's the party, now I'm just gonna grind further, and to do that we're gonna get to the ancient ruins. I already sh told you how to unlock second path by talking to the Yama in Athlum near the area where the guild is. And once you unlocked second path, you can unlock ancient ruins. I'm gonna show you how. You need the key from defeating the fallen as well to unlock ancient ruins because the door is locked to ancient ruins here but we already beat the fallen so uh, let me just get the map here so we don't get lost I don't remember this area at all okay I got it This is a dead end, right? Or I guess it's not. If we can slope down, that's good. Yeah, it's good. Come on out! Oh, I'm a morsel. Nice. Awesome. Okay, later. And just go all the way north. Hmm? 
Hmm? All right. Awesome. There is the door. First, we're gonna just unlock the deeper areas in the ruins before we start grinding. Okay, let's just, for the time being, let's just go to the world map so we can save the area unlocked. Uh, these things, if you defeat a lot of them, they give a lot of stats at this point, at this battle rank, so... Let's do this! Let's kill a few. But even deeper in the ruins, there will be even better enemies to grind. Oh, baby! Dual Unleash Dual Snow Petal. Let's start with that. Casting blast is gonna hit them hard too. Man, I wanted to see Snow Petal. Looks like we're gonna kill all of them before they do Snow Petal. Yeah, man, that sucks. Oh, never mind, they're still doing it. Okay, good. No! Let's kick some They are really nasty. All right then. Get on up. I just want to see if the stat game is good. Only in death does one cease to grow. There is no limit yeah, to my strength. Different. Little by little, I'm becoming stronger. Excellent. Ooh, Hannah, Yay! piece of life. That Sweet. is really good. I feel like I've grown.
Well, you can have it, whatever. Also, if you wanna grind that trophy for dismembering monsters, uh, splitting monsters, this is the way. This is the right place to do it. They drop so many of them when you chain them. And here is uh, Ymir. We have to kill him, I think, to go further. We can't go further if we don't kill him. Let's just chain two of them together. Think we can handle that? Think we're getting snow petal again. Sisters unleashed the twin snow petal. Oh my god, Cyclops! This is like the third time during the whole playthrough I've seen. And I forgot to turn off Turbo Mode to see the Snow Petal over. Oh well, we saw the sped up version of it. Go back to automatic. Irina deals with same damage with only strike, even arguably better than Rush in terms of only strike. Nothing to me. Excellent. I'm stronger. I'm stronger. Sweet. I must surpass my mother. Hmm. Slowly but surely, I am growing stronger. Captured Emil, Damascus Ore. We already got it. Kill, kill Picor. I think we need that for some certain guild tasks. I'm not sure, but I'm gonna dismantle it. Sorry I'm saying dismantle, but... Just used to that. Because you dismantle weapons as well. And then... I just got used to that word. And now we get the key. Oh wait, we need to get the key. This is not... So, defeating the Emir is not the only requirement. We also have to get the key. It's one of the rooms.
the Deleuze, that's that's for Seaball. He's gonna ask for it. I'm an awesome weapon. I like being on yeah, the that's gonna be insane upgrade for him. Look at that. From 66 attack to. Uh, where is it? Dear Deleuze. From 66 to 142. <laughs> That's insane. There is no map of the ancient ruins, but there is a map in the last remnant wiki. In, as a matter of fact, I'm gonna get it up. I, I will link it in the video description. Because you can get lost easily. Here. Grammy key, that's the key to go further. But let's get the rest of the treasures hidden away in this ruins. In this part of the ruins. Okay, let's go here. Just looking at the map. Yeah, take this path. There will be a room here with treasure. Foxtail, uh, another version of a uh, formation. I don't know about formations really, other than Mystic Seal and... That's the world map. Other than Mystic Seal and Mystic Henge, I really don't use a lot of other formations. If you have an, an idea of a good setup and formation, let me know in the comments. But Mystic Hands usually works for every fight for me. The magic defense is just way too important. Nothing in here. Oh, that's... it's that room. We need to go this way. And through here. Here. Oh, we already went there. Okay, good. Now we're done. We can go further. Grammy tier. I think we can handle all three of these, what do you think? Yeah, let's do it.
Let's do this! It seems like every fight I'm getting snow petal now. Let's see the animation for once. He blocks. Come on, Hannah. I just need you, Hannah. You okay? Dispose of them. So lovely. <laughs> oh man. Too easy. Only in death does one cease to grow. Little by little, I'm becoming stronger. Excellent. Yay! This is of no concern to you. Yeah! I must surpass my mother. That's so epic, man. I love it. Okay, let's open the map for Grammy tier. Let's go ahead. Now, whatever you do, whatever you do, for goodness sake, don't fight those monopoles here. I don't know what they're called. Uh, Eyeballs. I don't remember what they were called. And these demons are nasty. I wouldn't recommend fighting them either to grind. Really nasty stuff. part of the Grammy tier. Also, we should go back as we might have missed something. Probably missed treasures and so on. Anyway, I know where I am at least now, looking at the map. At least go this way first to get this. Dragon Tail. Yeah, that's the Observer. Oh yeah, they called Observer. I just remembered before toggling it. <laughs> don't fight them. Whatever you do, don't fight them. You're just dead, pretty much. There is no way to defeat them. Trust me. If some by miracle you defeat them, you deserve a medal. I mean, you probably can defeat them 
once you get to the battle rank 100, you have insane stats, you probably can defeat them. But even then, it's not really worth it. Might be required for some guild tasks though, so you might end up defeating one or two, but other than that, you should stay away as much as you can. Another one. Oh my god. No, 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 no. Got the key, but we also have to defeat a boss. Right here, and there he is, the, the Holy Servant. We gotta defeat him to go further. Oh my god, that damage! Rise 
Nice one, try to take it. This is of no concern to you. I must surpass my mother. <laughs> Slowly but surely, I am growing stronger. Dual steel, divine brain, Hildir win. Uh, Kirina used to need that, but not anymore, because we got her the alt demon blade, so we're gonna keep it to sell it. And jewel steel, we can get it easily soon. Well, not easily, but it's accessible through monsters. It's just a bit rare to get it dropped. Now we just go straight on to the next tier, the Ancient Ruins. Right. To the... Meteo... Metopon tier. This is where you wanna grind, you wanna do Mystic Seal and fight the uh, Colossus, those Colossus monsters right there. Uh, let me save and just give you a taste of it. Fight them one by one just under Mystic Seal. So you level up your skills. And we're also going to focus on best. certain abilities. Leave it to me. For example, A on well-rounded troop consists of soldiers with various skills. On Zulin, he he's done with hexes pretty much. He got Kachexia five, so we can focus on him his invocations. And his combat arts. Actually, if he gets to grenade impact, then I'll focus on combat arts. For now, let's have him Check get grenade stats, impact. Huh? For Blockter, I want to get him make hexes too. So for now, disable the combat arts. Well, except for Mighty Dragon and Cyclone. Because he wants to level up those up. I guess we can focus on that once he gets to good hexes first. Release we can me from reactivate all those later. Me. Same for Wingale, this focus on hexes. And Bluff and Adolus is good too to focus on. I have many years the Duke is pretty much soldier. done. He can just level all of these other skills. You want something? Him disable the five because it's great five. He doesn't need to use it anymore to have level you never up. Laid eyes on, a Sylvani? on him, yeah, he can just focus on remedies and his combat arts. Hana can focus on combat arts and remedies too. He now just combat arts. Consider well the strength of the entire. Later, party. I'll get him items so he, she can use moonlight, 
so she levels up that. It's a good way to heal. Torgal does his combat arts. And bluff. Actually, I might consider just focusing on his physionics now. So that he can get to mixed message. That would have been nice if he got mixed message. I like being on the front lines. He can just focus on his combat too. Especially Dragon Roar. My contract cannot end soon enough. He can focus on combat too. You should totally come to me for tips on mystic arts. I think I'm gonna focus on combat on these girls too. Haven't you stared long enough? If they don't need to heal, then they should do combat arts. Yeah. Impressive. Uh, huh? Rush. Rush should keep going with hexes for now. Once he learns hexes, then I'll fo focus on combat arts. I am Emma Honeywell the second. Emmy should focus on blood rage and maybe get swift at the last five. And his her hexes. Actually, hexes are important so Rush can get animal kills sooner, so focus on poison gas and so on for now. Hello there. Paris he can just focus on mixed message and his combat arts. Zulin the Spirit 5, disable us so he can he should learn these. So he gets bewitch. Alright. So I'm gonna be grinding here for a while. Maybe until battle rank 60 even. Or 70. We'll see. We'll see when I stop. Let me just show you one example of a fight. Go for those, lower their morale, lower their morale, go for mystic arts, yeah. Just make sure you fight them one by one, maybe until battle rank 70, then you can maybe then attack two of them. Even then, nah, I would say they're still pretty dangerous. Because even their normal attack can decapitate your party leader. So I wouldn't recommend it. Just fight one by one. And you should be fine. This is basically the rest of the grind. Of the game. This is basically the last mon type of monster you grind. There is no more grinding monsters after this. This is the last one for the rest of the game, so you should just grind your soul out there with Mystic Seal. At least I'm going to, and I'm dead. So yeah, as you can see, they, they're pretty strong at the beginning, but as you gain stats, you should be good. Back. You're not going to perish from that scratch, are you? Also, as for the treasure chest in this area, I'm not gonna show them, you can just use the map and get them. I'm just gonna mention them in the next video when I'm back from grinding. Because you already have the map. So you can just go get it. Hello. 
the one in interest is the goddess ruthless here that I haven't got yet. I'm gonna show where the key is. Even the key I don't need to show, it just shows you exactly where the zone is in the last run. necessary. Dope, Unleash Galaxy, nice. Uh, also, it's not gonna do my lot and the Mystic Are you alright? Don't underestimate your bones!
Vale!
Underestimate your foes! I owe you one. Don't get careless! Very, very long fights, and some people might die sometimes. And they will not gain stats after fight, but it's fine. It's, this is exactly what we want. Longer fights, increase battle rank less, and uh, in turn, leveling up our skills while gaining stats. Look at that, it's just really good. For those characters that do survive at the end of the fight, it's really good. Slowly but surely, I am growing As you can stronger. see with the stat gain. So I'm gonna keep farming here for a long while. There is another monster that you could farm, but that's like later, but battle rank 70. Alright, so bar battle rank 68 and Alan asked to learn shards and I said yes because he has no healing abilities right now and the shardry will eventually lead to moonlight like Kirina and Hina. Moonlight is a good heal, healing ability. So I'll level his shards. Also, if you got some old weapons, disassemble them for the jewel steals. This way, all your unions that need jewel steel will take two from it. And then you can keep the two or how many, many ever they drop from the Amco bars when we grind them. Alright, in this room, I came across the Brynhildr which I wanna kill, the second one, towards the Gilder task requirement, so we unlock the Colossus weekly, so the Colossus enemies drop all the possible items. This room is located in N... N9, in the Ancient Ruins Motiopion Tier Notus. So, just... Uh, the link of the map, the ancient ruin map, is in the video description, so you can find it through there. We're going back to explore the area as a whole later, but for now, I wanted to kill this and record it. Obviously, I'm not going out of Mystic Seal, so... There is also a Harpelia, try to avoid it. Just fight the dragon alone. Let's do this! Okay, that fight it took 36 Only minutes, death. you just saw the Once end of it. I will put this to if you wanna see the whole fight, I'll link in the video description. But stronger. the advantage is that look, so many skills are no concern to you. Sweet! Yeah! I feel like I've grown. 
I'll try this baby out as soon as I can. All right, there it is, Brynhildr Slade. I showed the first one in Mount Vakal. You could, you could get both back then, but you can also get the second one in the Ancient Ruins. Rank 5, Albic CT late, weekly. I wanted to do number 47, uh, because we get the uh, Colossus weekly. So try to do as many of these girl tasks as you can along the way. I already defeated Falak as well. Candle, and I think that's a trophy. Legendary customization. So in all some weapons only upgrade further if you have these customization special items in your inventory. Legendary customization is from this guild task, obtain three wall tree timbers. The rest are from different stuff. One of them I remember from the standoff quest which we haven't done yet. But there is the legendary. Try to do the Brynhildr one as soon as possible so you get Colossus weekly. We already got Colossus daily as well. Oh, professional customization got already as well. Nice. So that leaves like two more, one or two more customization, which we'll cover later. So now I can obtain all Colossus and materials while, far while I continue farming them. Also, it's time to create the idol amulet. I sh could have done that much earlier. We got the idol fragment from the boss fight. The Wagram boss fight before we went to the sacred lands. And the Mela crystal and the skull are not that hard to get. You can get the skull from the Weaven in Ancient Ruins and the Mela crystal is harvestable with Mr. Diggs. Really insanely good accessory. When you get poison, paralyze, and silence, the next turn they will be gone uh, always. And it can increase his AP a lot. So let's get this for rush. Uh, yeah, it's for rush. What? It increases HP as well? Wait a sec. Yeah, it increases HP a bit as well. That is insanely good. Increases 3 speed. His bravery. Increases 10 intellect. 9 strength. Wow. Alright. That's awesome. Okay, so I just reached battle rank 80. Here in the guild of Melfina, we can now recruit Lucetius. It's a really, really cool looking character. The game doesn't have a lot of so many race characters that you can recruit to your party. So I'm going to try him. I always wanted to try him because I really like his character design as well. The problem is you get him so late. You rec the battle rank 80 requirement, it is so high, like, by the time you get to battle rank 80, you have insane stats of your already recruited characters, but I still wanna give this character a go, and grind him up until battle rank 100, just with the blue giants like I was showing you before, so I'm going to recruit him. He's gonna replace Kaidmon. If he doesn't end up as good as Kaidmon, status-wise, then I'll still keep using Kaidmon. Like, my Kaidmon is pretty much done grinding. Look at this stuff, it's just insane. So... Yeah, I can pretty much just replace him. And try Lucetius.
Alright, here is the party setup for now. I move Lucy to the Rush's group. Just to balance the max HP out of every union, so... Because you cannot exceed 9999. So you don't want to reach that and then gain more HP. Because you're losing out on max HP potential. And I'm just gonna keep grinding and see how far I can bring Lucetus' stats up until until I can't grind anymore. So many more hours grinding incoming, the same way I've been grinding before. And just to show you kinda the arts I've been gaining so far, look at that. Granite Impact 5 on Ludok. Kachexia 5, Bewitch 5, Dispirit 5, I'm getting all of his stuff 5. And for example, Duke of Gore, all Rift Peerless 5. Now I'm focusing on his Pizionix. <laughs> Look at those stats though, that's insane. You want something? Gal, I'm getting him Kachexia as well. Kachexia is so like broken, being on the front it lines. reduces enemies AP to zero, I think I told you this before, but just to repeat it. Sibal gained pretty much nice combat arts as well. He's a really tanky character, so I wanna keep him. Really good HP and strength, really good damage dealer with combat arts, so I'll focus on him on combat arts as I've written in the video description. You need a really this. awesome HP and insane amount of mystic arts. He got Kachexia 5, I'm just getting him Grenade Impact 5 now if I can. Or at least Grenade Impact 1. Checking my stats, huh? Blackter, once he gets Kachexia 5, I'm gonna continue working on his power grip. A well rounded so Lin consists of soldiers needs. with various skills. He just skills. got Grenade Impact 5. I'll get him Bewitch 5 next. And once he learned that, I'm gonna. Just for fun. I don't like. Oh wait, he doesn't have evocations, never mind. Just for fun, I guess I'm just gonna get him some more combat arts once he's done learning Bewitch 5. Or well, actually, I'm going for all fives on hexes at least before I move on to combat arts. Ludop, once he learns the rest of hexes five, I'm gonna get his evocations up. Does he have evocations? Yeah, he does. I don't like evocations, they see they feel really weak compared to hexes and invocations, but I still wanna get him Mystic Mind just for fun. If I can. We'll see how I end up at, at battle rank 100. My contract cannot end soon Alan enough. is great, I I make him balance, really insane HP. And I'm getting him Moonlight shards. So Moonlight will be his way to heal. So he at least have something to use for healing. And I'm getting him Kachexia as well. And I also focus on the rest of combat arts later. Irina just enough? got Pizionix. But I wanna focus on Myst uh, Not focus on Mystic Arts, sorry. I'm gonna focus on combat arts for her. Now it may, f you m it may seem like weird that I'm doing that, but his her Omni Strike really and Twin Snow Petal really benefits from her going combat arts for sure. So, yeah. Serena is gonna come be combat arts too. Arts. She's really getting up there and she just got hexes not long ago so I'm working on that too. Release me from all that binds me! Wind Girl. I think I'm working on Kachexia 5 once he learns that. I'm fo I'm making him Mystic Arts focus. Once he learns that, I'm more gonna work on Caustic Blast 5. For raid-wide damage. 
consider well Corgal the strength of, of the entire arms. party. But I also got him mixed message for that insane moral increase during battle. Lucetus Feast himself. your eyes upon my strength. Now, I'm gonna focus on combat arts. Because he's gonna also learn Demon Blow. Also, he's not far away from uh, Kachexia. Once I get him his combat arts and if there's my battle ranks left, I could work on Kachexia for him too. But main focus is combat arts for him for now. And I see how much higher I can get his strength or intellect. I am Emmy is combat the arts of course. Working on Blood Rage and Malnet. Also getting her Kachexia, but first I'm gonna I wanna get Blood Rage 5 before I work on Kachexia. If there is battle ranks left, otherwise her combat arts are more important. Impressive. Rush huh? is Mystic Arts too. I already got him Kachexia 4. I'm gonna get him all hexes 5. And I'm gonna get his Demon Blade to Enchanted Demon Blade, which is the uh, Mystic version. So he's gonna be a Mystic Art user. Pants hey is gonna be balanced. Now I'm working on his te Templar ability. And he also almost got Mixed Message 5 for that insane moral increase. He also gets Ward, which is awesome. Wards are awesome. When Gav gets wards too. So yeah, we'll see how far Lucetus can get. If he doesn't end up uh, as strong as Kaidmon in terms of combat, I'll just go back using Kaidmon. That's pretty much the plan for, for the grinding. So it's time for me to spend tens of hours again to grind again. So I'll see you again. <laughs>